Welcome back to Building with Boba. Today we're going to be learning how to use Investopedia.com. So, first of all, we're going to go to Investopedia.com. This is what it should look like. If you're not seeing uh, something like this, then you're on the wrong site. Obviously, these news articles will be different depending on the time you're looking at it. But at the top, it should, Investopedia doc, it should say Investopedia. It will be this little symbol thing. It should say Education Market Simulator, Your Money, Advisors, and Academy in our search bar there. Okay, so this is the site. It's really a useful site. There's tons of stuff. There's Education, Markets, Simulator. We just talked about this stuff. So Education has lots of really useful stuff, such as Investing Essentials. So basically talks about anything you might not might need to know about investing. There's tons of different web articles. It's a really great site. You should check it out so you learn. You can also learn about and just get general terms what they mean. Like what's a 10-year treasury note? And sometimes there's videos that go along with it. There's also stocks, like information on how to do it, mutual funds, ETFs, 401ks. Like, what is a 401k? And then you can talk and learn about some popular stocks like Apple. You and all built into the website, you can search up different stocks, their prices and stuff. But we'll go back, go into that in a minute. So first thing we're going to be doing is signing up and creating an account. So go to Investopedia.com and go to where it says Simulator and press Sign Up if you don't have an account. I do have an account, but this is the instructions you should have if you don't have an account. So you put in your email address, username, password, and confirm password. Once you log in, um, you'll press see a button that says My Game. So, um, so what I'm going to be teaching in this class is how to use Investopedia as a simulator to uh, invest fake money into the market to see how well you do in a given course of time. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to play the game or I guess simulator, not really a game. So the screen. Okay. And you will probably get an email after you register. For me, I'm just going to log in. So, I'm going to log in. And I just got logged in automatically because my password saved. But make sure you remember your username and password because it's not very easy to reset your password. See right here, there's a button that says change password. But uh, if you forgot your password, it's much harder to change. So we can ignore this right now because you probably won't have this. So go down here where it says games, and if you don't see the screen, you're probably not in the simulator area. So press the sim uh, Investopedia button. Just click on the text. Then we'll be back at the main screen. Press simulator. Log in. Sometimes it takes a moment. And you should be seeing the screen. Now ignore what this stuff says here. That's because I've already done this. Um, but press games. This is the game I was in, but you can see right here, you can 
join a game or create a game. Uh, most of you will be joining a game. When you click it, you search the keyword. You could also join a public game just for fun. Or you could even make a game and compete with your family, which would be very interesting. But anyways, you search by, you can either search by game creator's nickname, you can search by just game name and then search. And now we're going to be uh, looking at a game. So I'm going to join a game and I will show you how it looks like. So I'm just going to do this one, the first one that showed up. And right now it says market is currently closed. Uh, opened in 10 hours and 17 minutes. Uh, what that means is this is a simulator, meaning that it follows New York Stock Exchange times. The New York Stock Exchange is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but that's in uh, New York time, convert it to whichever time zone you're in. But for Chicago, that means from 10 to, I think, 7 so if you want to uh, do it in real time, you have to do it during those time periods. Again, it's only Monday to Friday. But if you invest, do it during maybe let's say 12 p.m. on a Saturday when it's closed, you're still able to go through the stock. Like you can buy st something, but it'll only be bought um, the next available day when it's open. You'll also see right here stock basics tutorial, stocks picking tutorial, and buying stocks. Those uh, are really good buttons to press, but I'm not going to be. Well, well, I'll click on it, and there's just like um, getting started. So I'll just read some of this more important stuff. So buying, sell, uh, buying and selling are base, pretty basic. Uh, you're either buying or you're selling a stock. And again, we talked about what are stocks in a previous video. Selling short and buying to cover are much more advanced techniques. Those are harder to explain, and I would not suggest you start off with those unless you do additional research. But I'm sure some of you know about uh, selling short as the recent news, or now a little bit old news of the um, game stock market thing that happened. A market order is pretty useful. It's uh, meaning you buy at whatever price that it's currently trading at. Um, a limit order basically means the maximum or minimum price you're willing to buy or sell. Uh, for example, a buy limit order at ten dollars means you're no longer you only will pay for a stock if it's less than ten dollars. Day order and good until cancelled. Day order means you'll be you'll buy something during that day and then it'll be sold at the end of the day automatically. Where good until cancelled just means as soon as you bought it, it'll still stay in your portfolio until you actually sell it by yourself. And now I'll do a demo of it.
Okay, so I'm going to press this button where it says trade, and everyone's screen will look something like this. The things on the side, like account details, might be slightly different, and the market being open or closed will just depend on what time you're doing this at. But you can search for a stock. Um, this goes by the name, the symbol. So you can either look up the symbol or press this button, symbol lookup. But I know the symbol for Apple is, uh, I always mess this up, A A P L. And then I want to buy stock quantity. That just means how much stock you want to sell, I mean buy. And due to some laws, you're only allowed to buy a certain amount of a stock. And this button to show max will show what that number is. And it says, due to a diversification rule, I don't really know what that means, but it's there. So, And again, we talk about limits and stops. I mean, it's like, sort of like a machine buying a stock until you tell it to. Good until canceled versus day order. Day order will sell it automatically at the end of the day. Where do uh, good until canceled will stay in your portfolio until you manually sell it. And the reason why it's saying zero down and zero up, and right here it's saying zero, is because it's currently at night and there's no change however if you buy it during the day it'll show the correct numbers so I'm gonna say I want to buy five shares of Apple and then I'll ask to send a confirmation email or message I don't want that but if you do you can do that then once you say preview order I'll show you how much it will cost you Commission is twenty dollars, or I guess it's thirty dollars. I I don't know if it's a percentage or it's a set price. I believe it's a set price, depending on which game you're playing. As you can see now, here it says reopens at nine thirty, Eastern Daylight Time. Once I'm happy, I can just press submit order, and I'm done. And you basically did the same steps for selling it, where instead of pressing the buy button, you press the sell button. But that's pretty much all you need to know. One other thing you need, you can learn, uh, use is uh, you're in this game. You're able to see what other people buy. And that's a pretty good strategy because if you're seeing someone else is doing really well, you might want to copy what they're doing. This isn't cheating in any way, any way, because it's legal, and you're allowed to do this in this game, uh, and it's common knowledge that you can do this. So, you you press rankings there, and this is the rankings for the game I'm in. Able to see today's change in value and overall change, and I'll just show and. Uh, order of who made the most money. And let's say see what this person has bought. We cl click on their name. I see. This game is not letting me do it. That's too bad. S most games um, it really depends on the game, but the games I do let you see each other's score, uh, what they bought. But if you, uh, if in the game it does allow you to, it just depends on what, who's, um, who's the owner of the game and who makes the rules. You're able to see what other people are do, uh, buying. This is really useful, as I said, you can figure out what they're doing so well and maybe copy it like if they bought a ton of Tesla shares 
and it caused their portfolio price to go up a lot, then maybe you might want to follow a similar strategy. You can also just do some research. Let's say you want to learn more about Tesla's law. And it's kind of like Google search. You're able to see Tesla uh, information related to stocks. Let's see six big risks of investing in Tesla. They'll remain too expensive. They could run out of batteries. Low gas prices. Increased vehicle competition and a bunch of other stuff. One final tip is just search on Google. Um, for the company name you're interested in and put stock at the end. And usually the first, art, first thing that comes up is from Google Finance. This one should, will just show the chart of the day. A one day chart is not very useful. I prefer to look at five days first to see w the overall trend. One month the overall trend. Six months which actually is uh, it's, and you'll see that red means down, green means up. So from six months ago, it was hi it's higher than it was now. Marginal, only like two dollars difference, but still a decrease of two dollars. And you'll see this green means increase. And here I'll show the price increase. And over here you'll see that huge growth they got in the past year. You can see how exponential it is. And but the most useful one is probably one month and um one month and five day to look to see if the stocks are overall increasing or overall decreasing because if it's in the past few um, days are just decreasing that might not be a good time to buy Anyways, that's the end of our Investopedia intro. We're going to be talking a lot more about this because there's a lot of stuff to learn and it's a really useful skill. Thank you for watching and see you next time.